Hello, hello, whoa, am I too, I'm too loud. All right, all right, one, one moment here. Uh, I'm adjusting my mic right now for reasons to be explained. One moment. Okay, how's that? Uh, that's still, uh... Okay, I'm just making sure that my mic isn't peaking. So, the reason that I want to adjust my mic is I've noticed when I go back and I watch my um, my archives that my mic has a crackling sound that's really light, but I notice it. One moment. Just turning it down a little more even. Um, yeah, I noticed that this little, like, crackling sound, uh, that, that my, I don't know if my mic makes it, or honestly, at this point, I don't know if my throat makes this sound, but there's, like, a, there's, like, a little crackling sound, and I hate it. So, I wanted to try turning down the gain on my mic, not, not turn it down on the mixer, like, the, like, turn that channel down on the mixer, but rather turn the like the preamp or whatever it's called uh, on the mic down. So hopefully that helps. Uh, that said, I'm doing all right. How are you, guy? We are about ready to go, except uh, this is not correct looking for some reason. So let's just correct this real quick. We're on the retro scene, right? Yeah. All right, let's go real quick. Reset transform. Make it pretty big. Yeah, like I I would make make it about like that and then when I um when it turns into Game Boy mode, it'll get a little bit different. So, okay. Let's Let's toss in the game of the day. Hi, Cyber Kitty. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. This one. Yeah. Link's Awakening. That's right, Cyber Kitty. And there we go. Uh, let's go! The store you bought for your earphones from let you return them for another pair. Oh, well that's good. Cool, cool. Um... Do I like Harvest Moon games? Yeah, uh oh! Uh, you know, I've never... Um... I've never really played a Harvest Moon game. Uh, they're not really my style of game. Like, like, I wouldn't... I expect that I would like them, but I wouldn't, like, super love them. And by that, I mean, like, I could appreciate them, but, uh, but, you know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't leave me feeling that sense of accomplishment that some other games do. Um, cause, you know, I like, I tend to like games that have, like, a, a, a challenge set forth that you need to overcome and that kind of thing. Um, but do I like Elder Scrolls? Not really. Uh, I've never really liked Elder Scrolls. Um, I'm not super into that setting, you know? I'm not super into the setting of Elder Scrolls. Uh, yeah, I've heard about Rune Factory. Um, I, f I had a friend in high school who really liked Rune Factory. Um, and, uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I understand it to be, is it's kind of like Harvest Moon, but you gotta, like, go get stuff. Uh, another game that's kind of similar in concept a little bit is, um... If you've heard of, uh... A the Atelier games, like Atelier Rorona and Atelier, uh... Yeah. Atelier Rorona. What are the other ones called? Anyway, those are those are a little bit similar in that it's like um, there's a 
there's a, a mode of the game that's like a JRPG where you go out and you uh, do stuff. Oh, we need the rooster. I, I took notes. Yeah, I took notes. Um, Republic Command. Yes, I actually did play that game, guy. And you know what? I, I, I actually couldn't play that game. Star Wars Republic Command. Or Republic Commando. I did play that game. However, by the way, hi, Matto. Um... And yes, I agree with that, Cyber Kitty. I, I agree with what you're saying about Atelier being more like Alchemy Persona. Um, I tried to play Star Wars Republic Commando. However, that game does not invert the Y-axis and doesn't give you the option to. So I couldn't play it. Uh, because while most games, while most like older games will... Um, oh, it looks like this actually was the right size before. Let me make it just a little bit bigger. Um, uh, but also thanks for the follow, Cyber Kitty. So, m most games, um, invert Y-axis as in the right stick. You pull back on the right stick to look up and you push the right stick forward to look down. Uh, that's, that's how games used to be by default. And they wouldn't, uh, like, games used to just be like that and not even give you an option, you know? Um, and then, and then they started giving you an option. And then Star Wars Republic Commando was the first game I ever played that made the controls not inverted, where up was up and down was down, and didn't give you an option to invert it. So I was just like, well, it's, it's unplayable for me. <laughs> I need to grab... What did I need to grab? My notes. And also my water. Do I feel... Uh, gaming are going for... A worse path with streaming and a lot of pay to win and subscription services. You, you, in general, yes, absolutely. Um, there is a big reason that I am generally a retro gamer, which is that retro games have a purity to them that most modern games that aren't indies have lost. Uh, right. So I'm using words like generally and most because there are still modern games that I really, really like. You know, Sekiro came out earlier this year. I love it. That game's amazing. Um, you know. But generally, yes. Uh, and right, Nintendo, generally, um, Nintendo is great. Uh, and yeah, Matto, I, I'm a, I'm a inverted guy. You know, you pull back to look up, you push forward to look down. That's how it works for me. But, uh, but yeah, I, I generally, as far as modern games go, generally, I'm into Nintendo games and indie games. Uh, but there are a few exceptions, like Sekiro earlier this year, that I absolutely love. Uh, but, um, but yes, like, things like microtransactions and loot boxes, and pay to win, and uh, games cut up so that they can be sold in chunks as DLC. All of these things, I think, are an absolute bane on the art form. What's good about it, though, what's... N um, I don't invert my mouse. That is correct. I... Uh... Pushing the mouse forward looks up, um, so I, I don't invert the mouse. Uh, but yeah, the Final Fantasy VII remake I am very worried about. I heard at one point that they were going to make it episodic, but I think that that might not be the case anymore. I'm not sure, because I heard that a long time ago. Where do I need this rooster? I thought I needed the rooster somewhere. That must have just been... Alright, whatever. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so, 
the, the, yeah, there's just a ton of stuff. Like, like, here's my least favorite thing. Here's my least favorite thing. Is when... Ta let's take the, the release state of Shadow of War. Uh, that, that Lord of the Rings game. That's the kind of game that they deliberately fucked up the balance of that game, and they deliberately made the game boring and grindy so that they could put microtransactions in it to speed it up. And, and that is exactly the kind of shit that I'm, that, that is just the worst. Um, yeah, yeah. Where they, where they take a game and they purposefully make it unbalanced uh, so that they can sell you the fix for it. Like, can you believe that? Can you really comprehend the idea of them purposefully selling you a bad game so that they can have you pay more money to fix it? And by fix it, I mean not play it. Um... <laughs> JRPGs. Like... Uh... I, I, I would... S I would say it's like... It's like purposefully selling you a car that's gonna break down really fast so that they can sell you the insurance plan. You know? Um, or that kind of thing. Where it's like... Oh, okay, the actual worst thing. And now, I'm going to explain the ab the actual worst thing that any games do. And fortunately, this is the kind of game that I'm not interested in the first place. But hear me out here. Take Elder Scrolls Blades, for example. Or that, or that EA Dungeon Keeper mobile game recently. This kind of thing. These are games where... Or actually, Shadow of War works this way as well. Where they made the game boring and grindy, so you're not paying them to fix it, you're paying them to not have to play it. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like, so the thing with Shadow of War was that you had to get all these orcs or something at the end uh, that, that you had to grind a whole bunch to get good ones. Or you could just buy good ones, which bypasses the part of the game where you play it. So they purposefully made the game boring, and they made playing it a chore, so that you could ha give them money to not have to play it. Like, I feel- I know that you guys understand what I'm saying, but I feel like I need to say it like four or five times to really dig in exactly what's happening. Which is that you're paying them, you're buying a game for money, so that you can then give them more money, so that you don't have to play the game that you bought, because it sucks. Do you understand how ridiculous this business is? So why do people buy it in the first place? Eh, because it's Lord of the Rings. Eh, because they made the, the the previous one was good. You know, Destiny 1 was good, so Destiny 2 can be whatever. Like... Oh... I'm sorry, I'm getting real fired up because it, it really is just like... Like, it's... It's so boggling that it's a... That it, it, it's a thing that, um... That exists. Uh, now anyway. What was the, what was the happy part? Do I need the, what's the deal here? I'll figure this out. Here we go. We're going. Oh, here's the happy part about all this. Um, is I am perfectly happy playing Nintendo games and playing indie games, and just playing the games that don't, that don't participate in these business models. Luckily for me, games that do this bullshit are games that I'm not interested in in the first place. 
don't give a shit about your licensed Lord of the Rings game. I don't give a shit about your Star Wars games. I don't give a shit about FIFA. You know what I mean? All of these, uh... All of the games that are that do these stupid business practices are just shit I don't care about anyway. So at least there's that. Oh yeah, Rooster. There we go. Yeah, right. Like, people used to genuinely like FIFA games, right? <laughs> like, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, we played Madden. And we, I would go over to my friend's house and we would play, like, I am not a sports person. People who know me know that I don't give a shit about sports. I know nothing about them, really. But when I was a kid, I'd go over to my friend's house and we'd play Madden or we'd play FIFA. And they were fun games. I can't imagine kids doing that now because the games are so fucked. But, uh, you know, oh, well, I have an idea. What if this... Yo. What if one of these holes sends us to that piece of heart I couldn't get? But yeah, as far as replaying this because of the remake, um, this was the first game that I ever owned. And, uh, and yeah, because of the remake coming out, um, I've just kind of been thinking about it a lot, you know? Uh, but yeah, yeah, um, right, so I don't, have you ever seen or watched, uh, Jim Sterling on YouTube? Because that guy made a really, really good point recently that I never really thought about. I've always been one of the minority who is for exclusive, uh, exclusivity in games. I think exclusive games are generally good because I've always said... It simplifies the development so much, and it allows for some specific creativity. And here's what I mean on both of those. Firstly, it means that PS3 games, when a game was exclusive to the PS3, for example, it was allowed to take advantage of the weirdness of the PS3 that was able to make some really crazy high quality stuff that the Xbox 360 couldn't do. Like God of War 3 or Uncharted 2, you know, those games were like beyond the Xbox 360. But when a game came out for both systems, they basically just had to make both games for the 360 because it was the weaker system. So all the games that were multi-platform multi were just were weaker, you know? The other thing that I love about exclusivity is the creative spark that developers, I don't flex, the creative spark that developers can get from the specific system that they're developing for, which Nintendo has always been particularly good about by making weird controllers. The first of which is the GameCube controller. Now the GameCube controller has this giant A button on it. And so when Capcom made Resident Evil 4, right? Resident Evil 4, one of the best games ever, it was originally GameCube exclusive. And they looked at this controller and they were like, damn, that's a big A button. What if we made the A button do everything? You know what I'm saying? What if we just made the A button do everything? Because it's really big and in the middle. And that, like, inspired this idea of context-sensitive buttons. Now, of course, we had context-sensitive buttons forever, but this was, like, a really big, easily understandable, mainstream implementation of it, you know? And that advanced the whole industry, basically. Um... So that's also why I think exclusivity is good. <clears throat> now, Jim Sterling brought up... So that's what I... So, yes. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I've always said about exclusivity. But Jim Sterling brought up recently, and I really, really agreed with it, that exclusivity 
is also good because the business intentions are different. When Activision or EA make a game, they put it on every system, and in order to make the most money possible, they basically just trick as many people into buying it as possible, and then sell a bunch of microtransactions and shit. But Sony and Nintendo, and apparently not Microsoft because they don't make exclusive games, <laughs> that's a joke, um, but Sony and Nintendo, and somewhat Microsoft, because it is half true, um, they get, m for them, the most profitable thing is not microtransactions like it is for the other systems. For Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo, the most profitable thing for them is to have as many people as possible have their system versus the others. So, if everybody in the world has a PS4, but only half that many people have an Xbox, then Sony gets a lot more money for licensing games to be able to be on the PlayStation. Because they can say to EA or Microsoft, way more people have PlayStation than Xbox, so you guys are going to be able to sell more of your bullshit microtransactions on our system, so we can charge more for licensing it in the first place than Microsoft can, because their system is less desirable. Right? That makes sense? And so the way that Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo are able to get as many people to buy their system as possible is by making exclusive games. Making games that people have to buy their system to get. And the way that you do that is by making a fucking banger of a game with no strings attached. You know, boom, Mario Odyssey. Boom, Mario Kart 8. Boom, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Boom, Super Mario Party. Boom, Super Smash Bros. These are games that sell systems and don't have bullshit attached to them that people want a Nintendo system for. So it's like, Nintendo could make some extra money by putting microtransactions into Super Smash Bros, but what actually makes them more money in the end is to get a whole bunch of people to buy Switches. Uh because they want to play Smash Bros, because Smash Bros isn't bullshit. So yeah. Um, but yes, that is true, Maddo. The, the, my, my very first point about the PS3 being more powerful than the 360, and, uh, but it was weird and it was hard to develop for both systems, um, that is no longer true. Because everything else is, or because everything's x86 architecture now, whatever that means. I don't know. That's what people say. I don't really know exactly what it means, but uh, but that's the deal. Ooh, I'm glad I came here because I wanted to take the rooster. Oh, can you not switch screens when you're flying? I see, I see, okay. But yeah, Maddo, that was certainly last generation. The 360 was easier to develop for, but the PS3 could do more if you wanted to if you wanted to do it. Yeah, and totally. I I agree. Uh, oh no, I didn't flex. I totally forgot about that. I did get the key, though. So I think this is where you need the shield is in this little cave here. Man, what a banger this song is. Oh right, but that just sends you over here. 
The best game I ever played. Whew. Whew. Can I give you multiple answers? Um. Top. F ooh, ooh, five. All right, all right. Top five. Let's go. I've got, I've got some ideas. I mean, I could just start naming things without actually making a top five yet. Um, I'm just gonna start saying things. Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 2 on Famicom Disk System. Super Mario 64. Super Mario World. <laughs> I know I'm presenting this in a jokey way, but I'm serious. Uh, Bloodborne. Dark Souls. Demon Souls. Super Metroid. I think, um, I think the jury is still out on, uh, on Mario Odyssey. You know? Like, we'll know at some point. Uh, but what was the last one I said? Super Metroid. Yeah, yeah. The Witness. Uh, Wings of V. Final Fantasy VII. Chrono Trigger. Final Fantasy III. The original, on Famicom. Final Fantasy V. Yeah. I'm trying to think of which... Uh, let's say Persona 5. Yeah. Here's this thing. Oh, there's a seashell. Um, oh, I haven't played Xenogears yet, but I plan on playing it soon. Uh, Half-Life and Half-Life 2. StarCraft. I have the necklace. Oh, your list of best... Let me see if I can even say what those are. Five JRPGs, and one is Xenogears. So Xenogears, Final Fantasy VII, Chrono Trigger, uh, Secret of Mana? Uh... I've been to these places on the map. Everywhere except the very top left. What would the other one be? What would, what would matter? Am I right so far, by the way? Was Secret of Mana one of them? Do I prefer remakes or sequels to old games? Like Link's Awakening? Or would I rather... Uh, I wanted Link's Awakening 2, Cyber Kitty, definitely. Um, I, like, when there was, um... When there was, uh... The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, right? And then they recently made A Link Between Worlds on the 3DS. I thought that that was amazing, and I loved it, and it was absolutely wonderful. Um... I really, really, really liked Link Between Worlds, and I was, I'm was i so glad that it was not a remake of A Link to the Past. Uh, so same with the Switch, I would so much rather there be a sequel to Link's Awakening than a Link's Awakening remake, but I am really hyped about it nonetheless. Because they'll do cool stuff with it. It'll be cool. Uh, I don't know, Flex. Um, I could go around and talk to more interesting people, but 
No one's really popping out to me that I remember, and I don't know how much I really care about the boomerang. I know that it's really overpowered, but I don't need it. I kind of just want to go do level 7, you know? Bum, bum, bra, ba, ba, ba. Hang on, though. Is this a thing? Whoops. Wait a second. You can rooster out of the water? Okay, this, this might be really big. What if there's somewhere that we can use this to find a secret? Also, what's this? Nothing. Okay. I'm definitely forgetting about some games, by the way. I'm gonna be trying to... Ooh, Final Fantasy Tactics? Yeah, dude. Yeah, Animal Crossing isn't really my kind of game. I mean, I the thing is, I like Animal Crossing. I did say that one, Matto. Um, I like Animal Crossing. I, I totally get it, you know? I played Animal Crossing on the DS when I was younger. Uh, it's just not my kind of thing now. Yes, The Binding of Isaac. Absolutely, that's another one of the best games I've ever played, for sure. Lesda! Lesda! I was thinking just Legend of Zelda on NES and Zelda 2. Ooh, Contra? Fuck yeah, dude. Contra. And you know what? Castlevania. Original Castlevania. I'm all about it, dude. Oh, dude. Zelda 2 on NES is like... It's, I, I don't know if that or if original Zelda on NES is my favorite, but one of those two is my favorite Zelda game. I love Zelda 2. <laughs> well, I haven't played, I, I've, I've never played Fortnite. Um, <laughs> so who knows about that one? Uh, the last, um... The last Call of Duty that I even touched, though... Oh no, the only one! The only Call of Duty I've ever played is Modern Warfare 2. Which I played for like a couple hours with one of my old roommates. Uh... And I... What I didn't like about it... Just to give a real answer to the Call of Duty thing. What I didn't like about Call of Duty was that I didn't feel like there was any skill in shootouts. And now, of course, this isn't really true, but how I felt was that whoever saw the other person first won. You know what I mean? Like, and by that I don't mean that, I, oh, I'm mad because I kept dying because I didn't see people. I'm saying that me, someone who's never played Call of Duty before, can load up the game, and if I see somebody before they see me, I'm gonna kill them. And, uh, and that's stupid. You owned all three Zelda games on CDI? Aren't those kind of valuable? Or are they not? Oh, you can't swim over rocks. Okay, that kind of answers my question then. Whoa. I'm kind of wandering around right now, by the way. Really? 
which kind of CDI did you have? Because I've seen, like, I've seen different ones, you know? Quit it! I don't know if I've gone over here yet. I don't like A Link to the Past as much as everyone else does. Link to the Past is a great game, but I, um, but I don't, uh, but I'm not as into it as everyone else is. Same with Ocarina of Time. In fact, Ocarina of Time, I don't even... I, I would not... Like, okay. A Link to the Past is way better than Ocarina of Time. I just think Ocarina of Time... Is, or or I, I just think A Link to the Past is like, it's really good, but... I don't know. I just get bored of it, is the thing. Ocarina of Time, though, I actually kind of don't like. Uh, it's just... It just feels bad to play. I think the controls are bad in Ocarina of Time... And the graphics are bad. And it's like, it just, it, it feels just so like, all the, like, all the dungeons are really boring. Um, you know, just like that kind of stuff. Uh, it just overall is just not, not all there for me. Oh, dude, people love Shenmue. I've never played Shenmue. Uh, but I played Yakuza 0, and I, I really liked that game. But yeah, the, uh, I, I think I know which, um, I think I know which CDI you're talking about. Oh, really? So you really like the controls of Ocarina of Time more than the 2D ones? What was the issue with the 2D game's controls? But yeah, that's funny. Yes, Flex? What is it? A scale is missing on the mermaid, so I need to get the scale. Alright, alright, I'll go try to interact with the mermaid. But see, I thought... Here's, here's what I went through. Here was the... Oh, there's a mermaid right there! I have literally not seen this mermaid. I've definitely... I've definitely not seen this mermaid. Um... I act... Yeah, I just didn't see it. Okay. See, I was thinking that... The statue was the only mermaid thing. Okay, okay. She wants a mermaid, so she's the one who gives you a scale. See, I saw the mermaid statue and went, Don't you give that a necklace and then you get a scale? And, uh... And then when I went up to it and it only said that a scale was missing, I was like, oh, I guess you're supposed to get the scale first and you give it to the statue. And then you get something that I don't know. Um, but... Whoa! We just went down and just, and just tore the scale off of her? Okay. Interesting. Okay, the mermaid is happy now. Man, I can't be confident that I, um... Oh, there's a new Firefox update that, that you don't like? I, uh... That's interesting that you're talking about switching a web browser from Firefox. Because I was just talking about switching back to Firefox. Because, uh... Because Chrome is, like, just such a resource hog. 
And it's not like my computer can't handle it, it's just the principle of it, you know? I just like shit to be lightweight. There is chromium, which is supposed to be like a lightweight chrome, but I don't really know how good that is. Aha! The magnifying lens. Okay, so this is like the end of the trade, basically. Except, of course, the thing that's later, but... But yeah. I'm, uh... Whoa! Wait a second, it's bad that I can see these now. They're hurting me. Unless I just happened to not get hurt by these guys before. But anyway. Yes. I like things to be really lightweight, you know? And, uh, and right. It's like, okay, so a bunch of people work for Google, right? And they got Chrome perfectly functional. Now what do they do? Well, they still have jobs. They need to work on something. You know, start making features for it. Maybe that's how it works. I don't know. But yeah. I don't like when features or, or things get overblown. The Animal Village. Is there anything else that I need from these idiots over here? Wait a second. Yeah, okay. Bum bum ba da ba da bum 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 ba da ba da bum bum bum. Doodle do doodle do doodle do. Ugh! Sometimes I just have to push those buttons. Doodle doodle Bum, bum, bra, ba, ba, ba. Okay, so now we need to, like, go around and... Right, right. That's what I'm getting at, Flex, is I need to go around and find the thing that this magnifying lens lets me do. I also gotta find the color dungeon. So I'm, I'm getting my ass kicked because I'm reading chat here. When there's a guy dropping bombs on me. You could change auto brightness on iPad in the tab brightness. Now you gotta search for how to turn it off. Oh, like you gotta like do a search for it. Yeah, the brightness tab, you know, that makes sense. Speaking of that kind of thing, you know what's always fun? is trying to guess which options tab subtitles are going to be under in a video game. You know, you get a new game, you want to turn subtitles on or off, what menu are they going to be in? Display settings? Sound settings? Gameplay settings? Every game does it differently. OP! OP! This cat, man. She won't, she won't quit doing the bad thing if you just make eye contact with her and say her name. You have to get up so that she knows you're serious. Otherwise, she's sitting there scratching the thing you don't want her to scratch and you're like, Opie, and she's like, what? And it just just keeps doing it. What? But the second you get up, she's she's out of there. General accessibility. Display accommodities. Hmm. 
Yeah, that kind of stuff is why, like, I, I do as little on my phone as I can, you know? Um... Like... Like, part of the reason that I don't play games on my phone, for example, is that... Uh... I just don't like to. As in, like... I just don't like how they work on phones. Um, and I have to deal with my phone more, you know? Right. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, Pepsi Man? Yeah, those are... Those are, like, the bad mobile games. Those are, like, mobile games that are bad. But even if you were to get, like, an emulator and get a good game on your phone, I still just don't really like dealing with my phone and playing games on it. Um, you know what I mean? Like, uh, for example, get, like, a Game Boy Advance emulator and Pokemon Fire Red or something. You know, that's, like, a best-case scenario for gaming on a phone to me. But I still don't want to do it, because I don't want to play Pokemon with a touchscreen and that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Skaploony, what up? And right, also, I just have a Game Boy Advance to play that on. Yeah, the voice acting in those games is pretty good. It's, it, it's funny, because it's like... It's like purposefully annoying in a lot of places, you know? Like, you can tell that they had fun with that game's voice work, because... It's just also like, silly and purposefully annoying, as I was saying, in certain way, in certain places. I'm just kind of wandering around right now, by the way. Really? I wouldn't call- I wouldn't say the Japanese dub sounds serious at all. Um, for the most part, I- preferred the Japanese voices. Uh, but they were both good. GPD XD? Oh, for emulators on Androids. Check out the cave. This one? On the beach? I wonder if this is where the magnifying glass guy is. Because I thought I'd remembered coming in here earlier in the game. Oh, okay. Yep, that makes sense. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> so he wants the shovel. I have 18 seashells? Uh, but what if one of the seashells is buried? Maybe he'll trade back. He probably won't, but, you know, you never know. We did it. We got the boomerang. What is happening in the video game right now? I just picked up the rooster, but it like also picked the guy up? And then I just threw the rooster? When I pressed A? I didn't even read what any of that said. Because I was too busy paying attention to the fact that I just picked this guy up.
Yeah, that was really weird. Okay, let's... I mean, can I replicate this? What if I talk to this guy? Oh! He will return it! Look at that! That's funny! Give me back the boomerang, I beg you! I'll return the item you gave to me! Not now. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. That's funny. Alright, so check it out. Here's the boomerang in this game. It's like super overpowered, you can throw it diagonally, it kills everything. Now, it, it breaks bushes multiple at a time. You know, it's pretty great. And then... Check this move out. Oh yeah, I watched the anime. Um, I, uh, I think I watched that in Japanese as well, though. Uh, check this out. We've got the rooster right now that carries you around. If you throw the boomerang and then pick up the rooster, the boomerang doesn't come back to you. Oh, I thought it was going to destroy those guys. Yo, it totally works on other stuff. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't work as well as I remember. Uh, yes I did, Pepsi Man. I played all three of them on stream. Ah, see, there we go. What did I like most? Uh, I think the third one probably had the best. Um, <laughs> thanks, Kaplooni. I think the third one had the best gameplay. Uh, but I think I liked the first one most because the story is simple and good. Um. The third one got a little overcomplicated. Have a good night, Matto. Uh. Oh, I'm not gonna play those again on stream. They're too long and specific. I will play Nep. I will play other games from the series, though. Like, I haven't played V2 yet. And I haven't played Four Goddesses Online. But we've got other RPGs first. Yeah, now that one just came out. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, we have the boomerang now, so that's pretty cool. Oh, right, and then the magnifying glass is the end of the trade sequence, because you don't trade the magnifying glass away. You trade... Um, you trade the shovel. That's good to know, Pepsi Man. I mean, it'll. Something is gonna happen like that eventually. Yeah. I gotta play Final Fantasy IX as, like, my next RPG. And then after Final Fantasy IX. Uh, probably Shin Megami Tensei on Super Famicom, but I'm not sure. Not sure. The thing is, I've kind of been streaming a little bit less lately, just because of, like, social stuff and also practicing drums. Uh, what? Dude. The boomerang kills these guys and turns them into four and turns them into fairies? If someone sends me a copy of Pepsi Man for PS1, I'll play it. Okay, I guess it doesn't even matter uh where the Um, 
What was I gonna say? It doesn't even matter if we get the level 2 sword now, because we have the boomerang. Yeah, I don't do emulation. You need a Japanese PS1. Not with a little, little bit of this and a little bit of that. But a Japanese PS1 just sounds cool to own anyway, maybe. Hmm. If someone sent me a copy of Pepsi Man, I would purchase a Japanese PS1. Not just for Pepsi Man. Then I could play the first Kingsfield. What about the PS3? Does that uh, play Japanese PS1 games? Now, Cyber Kitty, I feel like I've seen your name around. Have you been here before, or have I met you in someone else's stream? Camel stream. Ah, yes, yes. That's what I would have guessed. I meet most people through camel stream. That guy is a, uh, he is a community player, you know? Um, he brings people together. Okay, so we gotta go. I gotta quit being an idiot. And, uh, and we gotta go this other way. He got Octopath Traveler? That game, I'll probably play that game at some point. Maybe not even on stream, just, I just might play that game at some point. I don't know. It seems pretty cool. I, I'm not into the graphics. Um, I don't really like the, like, take pixel art and put a bunch of post-processing on it style. You do like it? Uh, I mean, I don't think it looks bad. I just can't really get behind it. Okay, so I think we use the rooster over here, but I'm not sure. Let's find out. We might already be basically done here, though. Oh, oh, there's something that the that the thing can't do. I forgot how I found your channel, Skaploony. It was probably through Camel. Or through Obst, who I met through Camel. Right, yeah, the, like the depth of field is the kind of stuff that I really don't like. In, in Octopath. Hey, Nuxie, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, that emote. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, well, you know what? I was originally planning on getting Octopath for Switch. Um, but if it's on PC, then 
I generally get PC games on PC. Oh yeah, how was the, um... Flex, how was the length to volume ratio of your fart? Was it well balanced? Or was it one of those, like, long, quiet ones? Or did it just come out like a gunshot? Short length, big volume, like a gunshot. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so we can get over here. Man, I wish I could I could roll my R's. So I could do a good brah kind of sound, you know? But instead I have to fake it by doing the brr kind of sound. Brah. But it's just cuz I can't I can't roll those R's, man. <laughs> Dude, when I wake up in the morning, those that's when the best farts happen. For sure. I know I took this path last time, Flex. I wasn't sure if it was the only way that I went. Like, okay, so that just leads back there. And now we go back one, and we go, what about this cave? But I think this cave is where we need the level 2 shield? Indeed. I think that's what this is. But what if it isn't? What if you just do this? Okay. Yeah, so you need the shield here. Whoops. Oh wow, that does a lot of damage too. Okay, so now... We just need to find out what we can access now that we have a rooster friend. Have you ever farted at work and got the unwanted attention of other workers? Um... Well, being that I work from home, no. But, uh... At my other jobs? Mm, I was at a concert recently, and I... Uh... And I farted, and it was... It was pretty stinky. Um, but... And I was with someone else, and I looked at the person that I was with, and they definitely noticed the fart smell. But, but... Someone, uh... Someone had just walked in front of us, because it was a concert, you know? There were lots of people there. And someone just walked... I hope this isn't a seashell in here, by the way, that I missed... But wait, what if I can take Bow Wow out for another walk? I doubt it, but like... Hang on. Anyway, someone else walked in front of us in the concert, and it was really easy to just pawn off on it being the other person. What if the- oh my god, the boomerang just does it. The boomerang does everything. 50 rupees! Oh, at work you are you're well known for your gaseousness. Have you guys heard Flex Retro's rap? When he farts in your face, it's a gaseous spray. What's the next line? It rhymes with Cassius Clay, but I don't know what the line is.
I'm gonna beat you to the punch like I'm Cassius Clay. <laughs> Maybe we just gotta go way further left than I've been going. Like, actually explore... Wait, no, that's probably what Turtle Rock is. Up on the very top left. Wait! The Hen House! Oh, dude, we gotta talk to the Hen House guy. He's gonna love this rooster. Wait, I'm not going the right way, though. Ultra Moon! Ultra Moon! Was there a Pokemon Sun and Moon? That sounds vaguely familiar. And then what's Ultra Moon? <laughs> Is that like the Alpha and Omega Ruby and Sapphire? Or was it like or was it like the 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 double version, like platinum and and uh crystal and and those kinds of games? Hmm. Wait, I don't I don't need to jump over stuff. I've got a rooster. Oh, but the boomerang doesn't hit these fish, which I'm just finding out for the tenth time. Okay, so we gotta go up this way, like, one more time. Oh no! Which song? The, uh, the acorn song? Look at this, we don't even need to use the Pegasus boots here. Oh, but there's nothing else here? Oh, I, I haven't heard the remake version. The only song that I've heard from the remake is the Overworld theme. Um, and I didn't like how they made the... Like that part that like gets really intense. They made that like the quiet part, you know? But yeah, you know, it's fine. You also thought that it was a, a downgrade from the original? For that particular part of that song? Yeah. Oh shit, it's the acorn song. I don't know why I keep grabbing these acorns. Alright, what's up, dude? Wow, amazing! That rooster is actually flying! It's just like I said, huh? Have you tried to hold him over your head? Cluck, cluck! Okay, so that's all he says, but we have this place to go into. 
Wait, this is where I keep going. Okay. Oh, but I keep taking the bridges to the left? We gotta take this bridge to the right now. Oh no, that's not it. And you can't drop off right here, which drives me nuts. I want to know what that place is over there. I already shoveled there, I think, Skaploonie. I believe I already shoveled there. Go more west, that's where I keep going. That's where I went last time, and Flex was like, You've already been this bad, Dish! Because I, uh... I, I'm almost sure. I'm almost sure. Yeah, it's down there. It's down that pathway. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I've got stuff over here. There's an actual picture of my shelf in the bio area. And then I've got some other shit on the top of my entertainment center that I don't really have anywhere. But I mean, that's just like some collector's editions. It's not really a whole lot that's up there. I need to update that picture though. Yo, there's a chest right there. And I bet... Aha! What cave are you talking about? The one to the west? But not this one. I already got the key. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how to get in there. To the east? Oh, yeah, 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 because there's a chest here, and then I, I look, all, all I was trying to do was real quick, that chest, I wanted to confirm that it was on the space up here that's underneath that bridge that I was trying to drop down from, you know, which it is. Okay. So I don't think I've been in this cave yet today. And that just brings you out on the other side. I want to go up, though. What if there's, like... Oh, dude. That's why there's a spot of ground here. Yeah, dude. They just give you just a little bit. Oh. Oh. 
If I push this down, then I can't access this one. Pushing this down doesn't do anything for me. Pushing this down blocks that one. If I push th this down... Do we have to do it in one shot? What if I do this? Ah. Oh, now they're all gone! Fuck! What? I just wanted to test it. But yeah, doing that would have gotten me these two. Um... But okay. Well, at least hopefully we'll get a secret seashell out of this. Yeah! So that's number 20. Or th uh, 19, I mean. That's number 19. Man, the enemies that are like the the rocks that walk around in this game have always been the hardest thing for me. Like, I really don't get how you deal with them. Because they're like a rock, so you can't hit them with a sword. But you can't, like, go up to them and pick the rock up because they hit you. So there's what I'm talking about where it kind of looks like a spot that I'm supposed to have the rooster, but you can't transition screens when you're flying. Wait, I've already been on this square, haven't I? Haven't I already been through here? Yes, but I must have gotten like... I mu there, there must just be a, a rooster thing up here that I wasn't able to do when I got here before. Yeah, the s here's the skull room. Oh, no, it was just I didn't have the key before. I really don't like how the do of the of the music note that was playing in the background music just kept playing throughout that whole cutscene. But, you know, oh well. All right, level 7, Eagle Tower. The rooster is not here with me. Alright, so we've got ourselves a key. Yeah, I, I remember this level being really cool. So it looks like we can go up a floor.
All right, so we gotta pull that all the way out. Grab this, and oh, so we can't quite do it. Oh right, the owl is saying something, but we can't understand it because it has no beak. Alright, so we gotta throw this ball at this pillar. And then that gives us a map. Okay, cool. The owls are not what they seem. Okay, so we gotta bring the ball in here. Whoops. Man, I was watching, uh, on Speed Gaming, I was watching a race of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And I thought it looked really fun. Like a really fun speed game. Okay, so you can't throw diagonally. Let me just double check that, though. Right. So I'm going to try one more time to throw this thing straight down, but it looks like I might have to flip a switch. Oops. Ooh, there we go. Bigger when pulled. <laughs> Is this going to make it so that I can't pick this up? No? Okay. Oops. It's so easy to pick stuff up with the boomerang now that, that I'm not even thinking about it. Okay, so then that makes it easy to walk in here. And then... <laughs> Now we need the ball in there. And I probably can't push these. Oh. There we go. All right, all right, I cool. Oh, you, you don't say. All right. But now, if I toss this here and then I leave and then I come back, oh, the ball is still there. So 
So now we gotta like... We gotta get in there, man. Okay, this is very interesting. It appears that we can't get anywhere. Oh, we can go through the Kirby. I know, the Kirby is so cute. Oh, the uh, boomerang turns him into a fairy. Who'd have guessed? And then, what does this do? This can get us over here? Which is nothing, okay. Don't worry, I will check the stairs. Okay, and then that's the start. Got it, got it. So if we had gone left right away at the start, um, we would have just been immediately turned around. Oh! Oh, the boomerang hurts this guy too. Gives us that there. Okay, yep. Oh, okay. And now we hit this from here. Coliseo Web. How are you today? Okay, so did doing that do us anything over here? Not yet. The traffic stop. What's the tra- Oh, the- Right, the Discord. Larry's Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm also a bit tired. I had to drive a lot today. Um, just because um, I had a, a drum lesson, which is um, like a- Ah, uh, no! Um, we're just like an hour drive away because of traffic, and then it's like a 40 minute drive back. And then I had a meal, but, uh, which that always makes me really sleepy. <laughs> Okay, so now we throw this down here. And by doing that, now, oh, now we can't get in there.
But, oh, but now that, oh. Oh, no, we can't get in there. Okay, we just, we have to flip the switch. That's all. I fell, though. Okay, that's fine. So, doesn't that actually make it faster? Because now we go up here. But we need the flip switch. We need the switch flipped. Okay. Uh This level is crazy. Okay, there's the switch. Or there's a switch for us to flip. Uh, at least this makes us walk faster. Oh, shoot! I had no idea we were about to get that. Okay, so now we have... Now we have the shield. And... Okay, so now we can come in here. And now we have the ball. I'm so confused right now. Oh, we have to hit these again? Okay. Okay, so that does that, which is good. And then as far as this thing goes... We flip the switch and bring this over here. And then what? Flip the switch again? And then flip it again? Oh no, that just brought it around in a big circle. Okay, so then there's that. A lot of switching items here, but... There we go. Nah, see, that's just... That's not right. I need to figure out what I'm actually trying to do here. Instead of running around aimlessly with this ball. So we can come down here. Destroy Big Kirby. Now this is open. Ah, there's this room. So I think we want to get the ball in there. And, and we almost have it there. Yeah, for sure, Scaff. I'm, I am excited about that. Okay, so we want to bring this thing through here. And like... Oh, that's not good. This room I'm not understanding very well very well. Hang 
on. I have the boomerang out against these guys, which is not ideal. Fuck. Oh my gosh. Okay, these two are synced. Ah! Oh my god. I'm going crazy here. Every other time that I've done these things, it's been perfect. And I cannot get them this time. Ugh. Ah! Oh, why? This is unbelievable. What? Okay. I'm going nuts here. There we go. Okay. That was weird. problem is, I haven't been able to get into this room above me, even. Oh. Okay, I think I get it. We need to go up here. And then go right. And when we go right, we need to look for a spot that we can bomb. Ah, it's between the candles. That gets us right here, where this says, If you can't go over the poles, try throwing things you have in your hands. Yeah. Oh, and this is... I was supposed to throw the, the ball up here already. But now that I haven't done that... Now we have to drop down. <laughs> and does that reset the ball's position? Or will it still be down here for me? It is still here. Perfect. Whoops. I've always loved the sound that the one-way doors make. Alright, then we come down here. And we hook shot across, switch to the brace. Oh. Yeah. And there we go. So with that, now the th this is this level is so cool. So now the four floors have been collapsed to three floors.
Uh, I kind of remember that, yeah. I think it's like up and left. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm- I'm still exploring. Oh, it was blocked by the pegs. Oh, right. No, I don't think I went up there yet. But I mean, that's just one of... potentially many doors that I haven't gone into yet. Right here, I kind of want to go in here. I need my boomerang back. Oh, jeez, those guys take a lot of health. Because now we can go up here. I don't know if I've been on... I haven't been on this side. Like, I've never been in this room down here yet. Oh, but... Okay, so here we need our level 2 shield. Okay, what's this guy say? Jump off the floor above to reach the chest. Okay. So we go up. Ah, here's this room. So it was downstairs that that room goes to. Don't get shot in the ass. Don't get shot in the ass. Uh... Hang on. See, now I'm confused about one thing. Ooh, and that is... It says to drop down from above. Ah, it has to be on the right wall. So we gotta go all the way right. And find a way up. Wait. Or, right here, we could take stairs up to the third floor. I want to know what's in that treasure chest, though. But over here is just the pulley? Okay. And then... But we can hit the switch. And then come in here. And then, yeah, drop down here. I remember it being easier to tell when a pit had a floor below it. Like, th like this screen is dark or something. But all right, there we go. Okay, so there's that. And then we can drop down to get back up here. And... Go this way. And go up again. And boom, now we're on a new floor. I did miss one chest, though. But maybe we'll find that later. I want to go see what that chest is. How hard could it be? Let's go left. And I bet it's dropping down right here. 
It's probably the same thing, but on the left side. Yeah. I even... It's one of those things that shouldn't I have said it out loud? It was one of those things where I was thinking, like, who knows, it might be the 20th secret seashell. Um, but I didn't say it. But yeah, look at that. We got all 20 of them. I did not expect to find all 20 of them. I figured that they would n be not only a little bit more difficult, but also just that, like, I wouldn't explore enough, you know? Because I play games in kind of a fast and impatient way when I stream them, you know? Where, like, if I feel like something has taken too long, I'm just like, ah, fuck it. At least I think I do that. Maybe I don't. <laughs> Sometimes I can be pretty persistent with secrets. Alright, so now we are on... The top thing. Oh yeah, just walking right past them. Going, you know what? Fuck that mermaid. That's not important. So there's the boss door. Which is weird because the map shows the boss door to be to the right. Hey, Run! You think you can take me? Yeah, all right, boys. Get this punk out of my face! Dude, I've got a Triforce piece right now. You don't stand a chance. That's all you got? Get ready for this! I tried to do a, um, spinny attack there. But yeah, I thought the statue- I thought the statue... ...needed a scale. Which it did! I just didn't see the mermaid. Okay, what is the thing I'm supposed to be doing here? Let's find out. I've got a new shield, I've got a thing, I mean I don't think it's gonna be something like this, but who knows. Um, you know, we could like knock him off of this thing. Or maybe I just need to defeat all of his friends. I keep, I keep, um... I keep not actually defeating every one of these things, but if I stand right here, then I think I'll hit all of them. Yeah, there we go. You dirty man, you can be my brothers. You'll pay. I'll never forget you. All right, great. So that was just a mini boss. Uh, give me boomerang. Ooh, there's the nightmare key right there. Okay, very interesting. Because we have not seen everything yet. I haven't been over here yet. I have one small key, and there's a small key block right there. Okay, so we hook shot right there. Uh, 
<laughs> it's exactly what happens. <laughs> Uh, all right. What is this room? Yay. Oh, the medicine. Um, I already had medicine, so maybe it should just refill my health when I get that, you know? Maybe. That'd be cool. Alright, looks like we're all good. We got no more chests. And I would like a heart from this thing. You know what? We could use a few hearts. All right. And then we'll just do something like that. You know, this dungeon didn't take as long as I expected it to. Wait a second, though. What is this closed door over here? Oh, I bet that's the door to the, um... The, uh... Instrument. After we defeat the dude. Ah, I'm not gonna hold back! I'm gonna make you wish you were never born! <laughs> Look at this dipshit! Alright, here we go. So, I've got arrows, I can... I, I remember Pegasus boots being important here. Gotta get it in the head. At first, I was trying to hit, like, the middle, you know? Here's Pegasus Boots! Ah! I love the sound that enemies make when... when they get damaged. What?! Okay, if it's not the boots, then what would it be that stops me from getting blasted like that? Okay, it like, it can't be that. What if I need to like, I have an idea. Okay, here we go. We're gonna combine items here, like that. Whoa. Oh, that didn't work.
Okay, okay. Okay, you just walk against it with your shield out. Gotcha, gotcha. This boss is awesome. Oh, I could have gotten it there. Got it that time. Ah. This bird is taking a lot of arrows to the face. My energy gone. I, I lost. But you will be lost too if the windfish wakes. Same as me. You are in his dream. Yeah. Now we can get in here. Ooh, the keyboard, the keytar, dude. The organ of evening calm. Oh yeah, it was fun to shoot him with arrows. Whoa! Ocarina. The music of the ocarina leads. Oh, does it now? Oh yeah, we're getting the sword. Alright, so let's go boomerang jump. Man, we could use some arrows. Probably just have to buy those from the shop. Man, if I had dropped down the other side, we would have been at the bottom by now already. But I think we would have been in the water, which sucks. So even here, I'm not doing it. So I can never remember where exactly the Seashell Mansion is. Oh, I have to put on the Pegasus boots. We're so close. Wait a second. We have to go this way. There was a spot where we need that shield. Oh, that chicken guy is over here. Because our, our chicken just disappeared. Dude, where did Pecker go? Oh, here he is! Oh, finally! This flying rooster is the greatest! I love it. <laughs> uh, there we go. Marin, somebody help! 
Hey, Log, some monsters put me up here. What should I do? I'm afraid of heights. Beep. Wow, that was a surprise. Long, thank you. Say, Long, I, uh, I don't know how to say this, but... Marin! Huh? Tarin? Uh, never mind. I gotta go. That girl sang her song in front of the egg. Her ballad of the windfish is a song of awakening. Did she actually intend to wake the windfish? The next siren's instrument is in the west. Play your melodies so the unliving stones might hear. Show your courage. The windfish awaits for you. Hoot. Hoot. Okay, so it was this way. Oops. Already had it. Where does this one drop to? Just right down here? Okay, that's weird. Now, I think you need both of these. No, you just hold B and up? Okay. Oh, I hope this isn't just how you get to Turtle Rock. It's gonna be, isn't it? Oh, it is. Okay. And we don't need a key to get into Turtle Rock? Did we only need five keys total? Oh, right, because the catfish level we didn't need a key to get into. We don't need a key to get into level 8. And then we also, that means there's one more level we didn't need a key for. Level 1 we did. It was level 2, the bottle grotto. I remember Bottle Grotto, but I don't remember not having to get a key for it. Okay. So I guess that's just where this goes, which means it's time to go down. But that's funny. So that means that... Doesn't that mean that level... 7... Yeah, so level 7 is right... Oh, it's on the top right. Level 8 is on the top left. Oh, right. That was that level. Yes. And then where was level 6 again? Was it right... Was it this? Okay. Um, anyway, the seashell mansion is like... Is right here. Okay. Right, the boomerang just gets rid of these. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -ba 
Papa. Man, this game is great. Sounds good, Flex. I'm just about to pick up the sword, and I'm not sure how much later I'll go today. Probably not that much later, because I do have to work tomorrow. What does the boomerang do to these things? It just kills them? Are you serious? Down, down, and then a bunch to the right. So down... Down, and now we got to keep going right. Ah, yes, this all looks familiar. <laughs> Oh, you just go... Wait. What? I remember uh, really not being able to find this place as a kid. Like, I found it one time, you know, and then I could never find my way back to it. Alright. Here we go. Oh, it's flying, dude. Yeah! My job here is finished. Whoa! I don't remember this being so crazy! We've got a new sword! We should put our name on it right away. So it's a new sword, it didn't just upgrade ours. Oh, this looks different on DX. On the original game, it was like a... It was like a spiral that honestly looked kind of stupid. That looks so much better. Um... Teleport to Animal Village and go in the cave to the upper right. What do you mean? Like to get to Seashell Village or, or... Or is there a thing there that I didn't get? It has a piece of heart... That I didn't get? I think that's the one that I got that you were saying you didn't get. But maybe I didn't get it. Maybe we only saw it. Oh, get me out of here. There we go. Yeah, may maybe we only saw it. And you said, oh, I didn't get that one. Tweedledee and Tweedledum saw it. Can you see it? Look how big and stupid this shield is on this sprite. Dun, 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 dun. All right, yeah, let's see what was in here. I certainly need something. So we've got over here, there's... Ah, yeah, it was, it was right there. See, I, I had... 
I'm pretty sure I had it written down. And then when I got the hook shot, I went to all the places I had written down. Yes, I used bomb arrows to blow up the rock. Yes. Oh, throwing a bomb over the fence. Nah, I used bomb arrows. Mm-hmm. That does leave us with just Turtle Rock and then the final dungeon to go. And, uh, yeah, I'm really satisfied that we got... We did the whole trading quest and got the boomerang. And... Um... And we, uh, also... What am I saying? Got all the seashells, yes. Uh, I am definitely a red tunic kind of guy. I mean, when you offer me the idea to double my attack power, no other choice really matters. I just, I want to double my attack power. But, uh... The only thing, though, is that I wonder if it only applies to your sword... Because then there is a good, there is a good argument to make about the blue tunic, saying that like, you know, it, the the double defense is always there, while the if the attack power is only on the sword, that's not as good because you might be using the boomerang a lot or something like that, you know. I don't remember where the color dungeon is. I feel like it was a secret right around the... Oh jeez, this thing... Oh gosh. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, it's up to you. Uh, oh, this just all tells you where stuff is, huh? I, um, this is not a, yeah, th this is not a strict no-spoilers game, but it is more fun to find stuff myself, you know? If there's something that I don't remember, it's more fun to rediscover it than it is to be told. I think I'll find it. I have a vague memory of where it is. Maybe next time that's what we'll do. Maybe next time I will do the color dungeon and level eight. Um, <laughs> and we'll see. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> no thanks, bitch. I already have a necklace. Uh. All right, so yeah, that said, um, it is also 11.30. I think we're about good today. Uh, I know it, it was a very short stream today, um, but, I mean, that's because I was busy for most of the day. Uh, and I gotta get to work tomorrow, so... I think this is a good point to call it for today. And, um... And come back tomorrow. Or come back very soon. Probably tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow I have a, co a, a Mario commentary to do with Flex at 9 p.m. Central. Uh, but other than that, I'm not sure what the day will hold. So, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Thanks much for... Hang on, this isn't Smooth McGroove. Thanks much for watching. Have a good night, everybody. And let's see who else is streaming that uh, that we can go 
that we can go give a host to what I see is Birdman. He's got new custies. All right, let's rock. Let's rock. I hope you guys like metal and people playing drums very well. Bye.